assalamu alaikum students and welcome to this program in which we will add to eight bit numbers and put some in the result uh, available here you could see and then display it in binary so this is my title and this is the model small you know the small is the memory model means one data segment and one code segment we need to have in it then usually we are writing stack and data in data we have the number one and I'm putting it all once eight ones because it could uh, uh, have eight ones the maximum capacity because it's uh, defined by it that means eight bits so I'm putting the maximum and then num2 TB again the maximum I will add them add the two and what should be the result? The result should be like this because uh, if I do it here, for example, result, result should be like this because one and one is two. That's one zero. So it be zero with one carry, and um, that will go to here. That is, it will become one, one, and one because uh, one and one and plus one carry. So it becomes three. That is one one. So one with one carry. So it will again if you calculate it, it will become all ones now. Uh, that will will be how many ones? So it will be all ones here. In fact, one to this, one to this, one to this, one to this, one and zero. It will be like this, 1 on 10, then 1 carry, that will go here, it will give up 3, that is 1 and 1, 1 here, 1 to carry, that means this all will be 1s, and here at the end, where carry will be out, that will be 1 here, as well, that will be carry 1, okay, so this will go to the carry, uh, and uh, the, re the result will be like this, okay, so how we got to do this, uh, this is my message, the sum is, I want to print sum, and then I will print this. So my code starts here, start label as usual, okay? And um, I will say first, uh, to initialize the data segment, move data to the AX and AX to DS as usual, then here is my actual code. What I'm going to add, I will put num1, that is this number, into the AL register, which again the 8, bits and can, uh, I mean to say byte so similarly here num2 well, because AL now have the num1 we will add number second with the AL and store the result in the AL so we will have in AL this thing and one this one will go to the carry so I'm putting that AL into the result so my result will have now the AL okay um, and what will be in the H? I'm putting in the H all zeros here because this AL is actually the AX, the lower byte of it of AX is AL and higher byte is H. And I'm, I have the number in the lower byte that is in AL, but uh, in AH I will be having zeros. So I'll say add carry, add with carry, AH with zero. That means this will carry what is in a H. Actually, H has zero, so it will add zero with the zero and with the carry. Actually, zero is here. H has zero, so it will only put in the H register what the carry bit. The carry bit is here. This one, one. It will go to the H is lower. I would say least significant bit. So H will have uh, like this, all zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth which will be one. That will carry will go here. This is what uh, this statement will do because this is add with carry. It adds byte plus byte plus carry. So byte means first is AH which is having zeros and I'm adding it with a zero. That means zero plus zero with the carry bit. So the carry bit will go here. That's the that, that's it. So AX will have now, AX will have AX because it has AH and AL. AH will have this thing. So I'll just like this. This will be AH. AH will have this thing in it. And AL will have this thing in it. So AL, if I say here, AL, AL will have in it 
all ones one two three four seven and zero in the last so it will be like this now what I'm gonna do is I will save this AX into the BX so I'm saving this whole thing that means the lower byte H and the uh, upper byte H and the lower byte AL this whole thing will be uh, stored in the BX I mean the 16 bits will be stored in the BX okay then I will print a message DX message because I'm putting the uh, effective address of message into the DX register that is DX register will point to this message okay now if I call interrupt 21 it, it is going to print this the sum is up to the dollar dollar is uh, uh, the end point of this uh, string so it will print the sum is here interrupt 21 I'm calling then what I got to do is uh, I'm putting 16 into the CX register so this is a trick way of uh, printing the binary I put a 16 into the CX register that means I'm gonna do 16 loops what I gotta do is here load it left I am putting ROL to this because this this thing is now in a BX so BX is having this thing so let me show it here that BX is having seven zeros seven zeros and one then all ones one two three four five six seven ones and zero okay this is in a BX register now what we're doing we're doing ROL rotate left how much one rotate left BX with one that means it will rotate this because rotate left will do one thing it will put this thing into the least significant bit and also into the carry so when it will rotate one bit the first time this zero will go to the carry as well as to the here least significant bit so it will shift a bit left this will shift a bit left and all this will go here this will go here this will go here and this zero the last one will go to the carry as well as here okay so what I am having in the carry bit in the carry flag actually is the most significant bit of BX so when I'm saying ROL BX1 that means it will put z this zero into the carry as well as here least in a bit but I'm interested in the carry flag that's why I say jump and carry if there is jump, jump not carry I mean if there is no carry that means carry bit is zero if the flag is zero that means this is zero here that was gone into the carry flag so if this is true that this is zero then go where go to the skip one that means go here okay it will go here what will do it will move zero to the DL the ASCII of zero to the DL actually and then we're gonna print that here move H zero to H by the zero to H we know zero to H prints in the ASCII what is in a DL it prints what is in DL so zero to H is gonna print DL by the 21 H so it will print zero first time but look here jump skip sorry here uh, if not carry this carry bit has a zero carry flag has zero in it go to here that is put zero in a DL and then this will execute print it this means print, print DL that is zero so it will print what it was here so it will print zero and it will loop to the repeat RPT it will go here because loop will take it here again it will rotate left BX now BX will again rotate it so now this bit will be here okay because th this bit has already moved a one so this bit is here now it's again zero so when you go in carry it will be again zero maybe uh, similarly it will reach here when this one reach here because rotating left 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 it goes left 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 and what I will uh, appear that after one two three four five six seven loops one will reach here and this one will go to the carry at that time one will be having in the we were having one in the carry flag so carry flag has one so it will not go to skip one rather it will do this thing because this is false this statement is false this statement this particular statement is false at that time because carry flag is having one so it will execute this thing that is move dl1 so put ascii of one actually in the single quotes into the dl and jump to skip two because we don't want to do this thing again I don't want to print uh, put zero in the DL I want to put one in the DL so I got to jump this statement actually by by doing jump skip second it will jump from this position onward this position and print this 
which one so deal so this is a trick which will print me if it is zero it will print it zero if it is one it printed one so after 16 loops because 16 is here because when I say loop it will decrement CX automatically so this the uh, piece of program is going to run 16 times and what will it print is zeros or ones and why zeros and ones these zeros and ones will be in accordance what is in the bit position here in the b act if it is zero because that zero goes to carry if the zero goes to carry it will print zero here if it is one one goes to carry it will print one so in the end it will print what is in the bx that is what that is the addition of our two numbers that was here we had how much here um yeah above here yeah, we've got two numbers here and their addition it will be what to be like the zero one 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 up to one and all seven zeros here like this this will be the sum I reckon so let me run it I will say Tyson add it will go for the assembly and then I'm gonna link it as you know uh, linking properly and it gonna uh, I'm gonna run it by saying add because this is an executable file there's no errors and you know why because I had already executed it okay so this was a good I actually debugged it had some three four errors but now it has not anyways um, add it and here we go bad the result what we were expecting isn't it uh, what we were expecting was let us see yeah here yeah. this is the result what we were expecting that is zero in the most little bit then all ones up to this and then all zeros that's perfect but we can do it not only for the binary but we can do it for the other things like uh, hexadecimals or decimals or whatever we can try our hands but the print it will print us in the binary only because we are printing all the zeros and ones so if I put in a number so that's an addition to this program uh, let me think because this is the byte because 8 bits so if 8 bits we have let it be something like that let it be um, 64 let us put a 64 as a number I will say D to 8 decimal and let it be here of the 64 so let us see what will come out not the binary but decimal so let me see the 64 a decimal number 64 a decimal number let me add it and if you tell me what is 64 and 64 is actually uh, 64 is actually one is uh, zero this will be one this will be two four eight sixteen thirty two and sixty four is here this will be this will be sixty four is it or not so probably okay this is one two four six four eight thirty two um we're wrong one two four one two four eight sixteen thirty two and sixty four yeah it is sixty four so my question is now how many bits are these one two three four five six seven so eight will be here will be zero so this will be my sixty four in the uh, in representation into the binary so similarly sixty four again here the same thing so it will be um, 0 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 so what should be the sum so sum 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 will definitely be here 0 here also 0 is it or not so what I'll put it here only because only here is the one 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 mix ten so zero and one carry will go here is it okay yeah so it will be like this then the rest will be all zeros so I'm already having three zeros so maybe five zeros uh, four zeros more one two three four so my answer should be like this is it or not so let me try to run it and see if the answer comes like this or not so I have to link it again TASM add 
um, the letters T link at and at and here we go. This is our perfect answer, is it or not? Because this is the seven zeros, one, and the rest are the all zeros. Yeah, that's it. The rest are all zeros here because we are talking of eight uh, bits only here, num. But result, then we put into the bx here. It will put the carry also to the because this time now, if the, I'll say add carry because uh, add with carry means byte byte plus carry byte is h h is zero is having again add with the zero but carry this time will be zero. There's no carry out because one one zero that goes to here that doesn't go out of the byte. So it, the carry flag will be zero. So in h we are already having all zeros now all zeros with this bit also zero. And in AL, we'll be having this thing. So that's printing here. That's uh, that's our, um, that's coming here. So we could do this program with the uh, hexadecimal as well, along decimal. We could put some hexadecimal number and it will add us in the binary. And uh, I hope uh, that this is enough for the session. You would understood it. So it's time to say goodbye and take care.